Now you guys can put on any dress on any person using AI. Many of you guys have already asked this question that how can we put on any specific article or any specific dress on our AI influencers. So in this video, I'm going to show you the most easiest and convenient method to do that without getting into the stable diffusion and all that stuff. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Okay, so this one is called the Outfit Anyone Ultra High Quality Virtual Try On for any clothing and any person. So this is their GitHub page where they have shared our research but we are not just limited to the research we also gonna try this later on in the video but first of all we're gonna look at some examples over here so this is the lady and you guys can see this is the dress and she's wearing the exact same dress that is shown in the image and these are a couple of more examples here we have a male model and now he's wearing this dress and look at that how realistic it looks it doesn't feel like we have photoshop this one or this is the a generated it looks really really good so these are some more examples and if i scroll down you can see this is the method so if you are a technical person and if you want to know how this model works this is the guide to this model and uh, look at this one this is one more example how realistic it looks it doesn't feel like this is the a generated these are few more examples where you can see uh, she's wearing a sweater and now she's wearing a jacket and look at that and not only it's putting the dress on it's also adding the details in it and they demonstrated this in this example where you can see a jacket and the uh, jeans and if we look at this one here's the before and after and look at that it added some more details in it and makes it more realistic now let's see how we can access this tool so there are two ways to access this AI tool first of all you can go to this URL outfitanyone.app slash playground and the second one is the hugging face so both of these are working on the same mechanism you can use any one of them first of all you guys can see we have some pre-generated models these are the male characters female characters and we have almost 10 to 12 models you can select any one of them. so let's say we have this male model now we have some example clothes well you can also upload your own clothes over here so let's say i'm gonna try this example so i will simply drag and drop here and we will pair this sweater with the jeans over here and simply hit run button okay so here is the output and now look at that how good it actually is yeah there is something going on off over here but overall it looks really really good but these are their demo clothes and how you guys can believe on it so we're gonna try our own dress over here so i have an image of this leather jacket over here so we're gonna try this leather jacket and hit the run button okay so here is the output image and look at that and now this guy is wearing the exact same jacket and if we look at the patterns the zip patterns button patterns everything is on point but these are their virtual models and how we guys can put on these dresses on our personalized models so for example i have this image of a lady this is the pre-generated model so i will simply download this image and now head over to the focus so if you guys are not familiar with the focus i have already covered this tool in a detail in these videos so you can check out those videos if you want to learn in our detail so all you have to do go ahead to the advanced settings and click on the developer debug mode and from here select the control and select mixing image prompt and vary upscale just check this box and now select the upscale and variation and in this box we have to upload the image that we have generated with the outfit anyone so upload your image and select the very upscale now click on the image prompt and just scroll down and click on the advanced options and here we have to upload the image of our model so i'm going to upload the image of our base model and now click on this face swap and make sure to select the aspect ratio according to your reference image so i'm going to go with the one ratio one and simply hit generate okay so it gave us two different variations and you can download any one of them but one thing that you have to keep in mind that it does changes our patterns a little bit so you have to deal with that now simply download your image now the next step is to change the background and for that we're going to use the adobe firefly and we will be using its generative fill now simply upload your recently downloaded image here and now simply click on this background button and this will automatically remove the background from the image now in the prompt bar you can type the environment or the location that you want for your image so let's say i'm going to type standing in a studio and hit generate and now you can see it gave us three different variations and now you guys can select the image that you like the most so let's say this one the first one looks really really good over here so i will simply download this image 
so this was just an example you can even try more backgrounds you can even try more environments that you think suits best for your image so this is the simplest and easiest method for the non-technical persons like me who don't know much about distributed diffusion and all that stuff uh, you can use this method to change the dress of your AI influence but still there is a challenge to change the pose with the same dress because it does change our dress a little bit but but you guys can try the things like the open pose to change the pose of your influencer i hope you guys learned something new and if you guys did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one